Amongst the uncertainty coming from the MCU's multiverse saga, there has always been in the background of all of the fans' minds one little piece of franchise that has excited us. And today we're going to talk at length about a recent update from insiders that claim we know what the first lineup for the X-Men in the MCU is going to look like. Now, this is something that we have all been speculating about wildly. Insiders, fans, YouTubers, all of us alike. What is the first X-Men team going to look like in the MCU? Now, there's a little confusion here because we know in Deadpool and Wolverine, we're going to see a lot of those heritage characters, the Fox X-Men characters, return to the MCU. We know with the multiverse and with the variants, there are opportunities to see old heroes that we love and miss from their time on screen yet again. Whether they are that exact character or variants played by the same actor, we have this opportunity to have them merge themselves into the MCU, which many of the actors themselves complained that they were upset they missed the opportunity to be in the MCU. And it's a real full circle moment for those characters. But we also know that the MCU and Kevin Feige are planning on ramping up their own mutant campaign outside of the Foxman characters that will have new actors, new stories, and a new team. The big question mark around this is who and how. Well, we're going to discuss all of that in today's video, as well as some very interesting Deadpool and Wolverine cameo news that has been backed up yet again by an insider. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 1 million subscribers. It's super exciting, but we need your help. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Also, be sure to like the video so you can help us out. Now, let's dive into this first bit of X-Men news. Because of all of the X-Men updates we have gotten, this is some of the most exciting because it has to do with who we should actually expect to join the new Mutants team in the MCU. We know we're getting the X-Men characters from the Fox universe, but who will be the new mutants? This is coming from Daniel RPK, well-known insider, who has given us the update that states Michael Leslie's pitch for Marvel Studios X-Men reboot team included the full X-Men 97 roster of mutants. So right off the bat, we know we are getting a stacked team and we'll go through really really quickly all of the characters from x-men 97 in case you are somehow out of the box but for those of you who are within the current mcu storyline updates and have seen x-men 97 you know that that was one of the most successful marvel disney plus projects ever and that includes the live action canon involved in the earth 616 projects that we've gotten this one was absolutely adored by fans, and for an animated project, that is something very, very special. So with that in mind, let's go through the roster of the X-Men 97 characters so we can start getting excited for the live-action X-Men and Mutant team. So in X-Men 97, the 2024 version, this was the lineup. We had Cyclops, Jean Grey, and Madeline Pryor, Wolverine, Storm, Rogue, Beast, Gambit, Jubilee, Bishop, Magneto, Sunspot, and Professor X. There were also appearances from a few other characters like Morph, Nightcrawler, and Forged, although they weren't necessarily part of the original main team in X-Men 97, they did make appearances and Morph was actually around in the 2024 version throughout the entirety. So this is a stacked X-Men team to be joining the MCU. Now, there are also a lot of questions about how this is going to happen and where have they been this whole time throughout the events of the Infinity Saga and even more recently, the multiverse stuff that has been going on. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. We need to keep in mind as we're talking about the roster, what the potential plans that Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios could be putting together. And with that, we keep in mind that Kevin Feige specifically likes to do new stories perfect example of this and there are many spider-man we skipped his origin stories in the mcu in fact he just jumped right into civil war already spider-man already bit by a spider and we're going to have a similar event happen with the fantastic four 
Kevin Feige's mentality on this is the story's been told, fans are going to know the story, and we can jump into some new origin stuff for the specific characters and their specific personality. That doesn't, however, change the fact that the mutants have been completely uninvolved in everything throughout the entirety of the MCU. Now, there are a few solutions, and all of these are purely speculatory, but there are a few routes that Marvel could go with this. One, the X-Men are in hiding. Traditionally, and extremely commonly throughout the comics, the X-Men, or all forms of mutants, not just the X-Men, are not accepted by mankind. Humans don't get along with mutants. It has a pretty fair line, and we see this heavily in X-Men 97 as well. In fact, it's the entire central tone for all of the events that are going on. So it would be extremely easy for us to say, well, Professor X didn't feel like the mutants were ready to be out in the world as heroes, and he was also very aware of the events that were happening, the Avengers, and it was their problem to solve. So that's one thought. The other thought is, well, the MCU is headed towards a soft reboot, that after Secret Wars is over, everything that we know about Earth-616 or the main MCU timeline will be altered and changed. Whilst we will be rebooting, we won't be completely deleting everything that had happened. We'll still have characters who will remember the original story from Infinity War and from Endgame, and all of that spirit will be carried over into the new MCU storyline. There are a few reasons why this should be happening and could be happening, but one of the main reasons was so that characters like Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, the core Avengers that we all know and love, will be able to interact with the Fantastic Four and the mutants. Robert Downing Jr. was Iron Man. In fact, the two characters are inseparable. Iron Man, Robert Downing Jr., same guy. But he isn't returning to play more Iron Man beyond Secret Wars. So with the soft reboot, we can introduce mutants and not simply say, oh, they've been here the whole time in the background. However, take the merging of the multiverse for future stories told as an opportunity to introduce these characters and this franchise. That would be an extremely amazing way to do it and also still leave room for characters that we know and love to be regrouped, recast, and brought into the MCU. Now, insiders are also talking again about this Deadpool news, which we'll finish off the video with. We've been talking about Blade and the Blade movie and Wesley Snipes and all of these different cameos that are possible in Deadpool and Wolverine, which I do believe there will be a plethora of, and I think they're doing a fantastic job hiding this information in the trailers. However, recently, this image had released, and it brought up a ton of speculation about the possibility that Blade could make an appearance, and possibly even Wesley Snipes. And... Keep in mind, Ryan Reynolds and Wesley Snipes were both in that other Blade movie together, so there is a connection there. Even though that connection might not be the strongest, we know that for the sake of making an amazing Deadpool movie, which Ryan Reynolds has poured his heart and soul into, he would do whatever it takes to get the right cameos and the right people to show up in this film. Well, today, an insider, Daniel RPK, also reported this news about Blade on his Patreon, stating not only will Wesley Snipes' version of Blade appear in the film, he'll have a solid supporting role in the film too. Now we have a lot of reason to believe that this is accurate information, some of which comes directly from Wesley Snipes as well, who earlier in May on his own Twitter account, he reposted an article talking about his comeback to the MCU, retweeting it and using the term what? seemingly trying to use a playful way of pushing a little bit of information out there. Obviously, none of these actors are able to come out and say, yes, I'm in the movie, but you can sometimes see little clues and hints, and this is certainly one of them. Now, this has been one of the cameos of many that have been heavily spoken about, especially recently, and with that new info coming from insider Daniel RPK, I think we have even more reason to get excited about not only his cameo, but his potential supporting role in Deadpool and Wolverine. However, let me know, a lot of really exciting news came out today about the lineup for the mutants in the MCU, the new group of mutants in the MCU, and of course, Blade. Let me know what your perfect X-Men team looks like in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and check out the Cosmic Wonder on other socials, and we'll catch you guys all in the next video.